on this first sheet, you can see that we have the data here and there is a lot of rows. Comes all the way down here to row 91. And I have several questions about this data that I don't wanna have to answer just by manually, like how many times has Rachel paid a fee? How do I know that without like, okay, where's Rachel, where's Rachel? That is gonna be completely no fun. So that is where this pivot table is going to come into play. So notice this says the sum of the fee. So it says Alicia has paid owes a total of $159. Now my question was about Rachel, so I come down here. Rachel owes a whopping $268. And I can see that on there with almost no effort. That's what the pivot table does for me, is it gives me a summarization. So it's summarized how much all the fees add up to. Now in this other pivot table, uh-oh, in the other pivot table, what you can see is it says counting of the fees, and we come down and we see Rachel, oops, gotta be careful of that pivot table editor. Uh, the pivot table editor is gonna come up whenever you click on a pivot table, so just kind of be aware of that. So Rachel has gotten four fines, and her four fines add up to $268. Now, I have another tab. We're going to come over here to the Data tab. The key is to highlight the table. You have to highlight the two columns specifically. You cannot highlight the whole thing. And then we're going to come over here to the bottom corner. And this is where the Explore tool is. So the Explore tool is part of Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides that gives you some additional insights or trickery around your tool. It is magic, uh, machine learning. And so then we're going to click on the Explore tool, and it gives me all kinds of cool things. So it tells me it adds up to $4,867 in fines. The average fine is $54. The minimum fine is $1. The maximum fine is $100. And there's 182. Now that sounds a little weird because remember only had 91 rows, but it actually is counting how many things there are. So the first name and the fine counts as two. Okay, so I'm going to go back to highlighting those two columns because I want it to be, see, so notice the range up here at the top, A1 to B91. It says, hey, what's the highest fee? So I'm just, I don't know. I'd like to know what's the highest fee. So I click on that. It tells me the top fee is 100. And if you want to learn a little bit more about Google Sheets, click C formula so you can see what formula would give you that piece of information. And it says I can just drag that over there, which is pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to highlight these two columns. And I don't want any answers, so I'm going to back that up. Scroll down. Here's something fun you can do with the Explore tool. You can make alternating colors, which definitely is fun. But scroll down a little bit more, and you'll see that it says Pivot Table. So I'm going to hover on this Pivot Table. It predicts what it thinks the Pivot Table I want is. Now, to be honest, that's usually not the Pivot Table I want. It says the average of the fee. Okay, I don't know, maybe I want that. But as I hover over it, do you see that it has this icon so that I can insert the pivot table? So I'm going to insert that, and it says, do I want to put it on a new sheet or an existing sheet? Most of the time, I like it on a new sheet. So I'm going to do Create. So now I have my pivot table here, which shows the average fee each person pays. So Lydia's paid an average of $46 in fees, and our friend Rachel's average fee is $67. I'm going to click back over here on the Data tab. I'm going to highlight my columns. I'm going to click the Explore tool, that little star in the bottom right. I'm going to click on that, see if there's any more pivot tables for me. Now they've got some charts that I might want. I definitely don't want that chart. So I'm going to come back up here. I'm going to click more, see if it has any more pivot tables for me. So it says the sum of each name for that pivot table, some of the fees for each name, 
Looks like it doesn't have any extra pivot table suggestions for me. But this is what you want to do is be able to highlight some columns of data that you have in a spreadsheet and just click the explore tool and see what kind of pivot tables it'll make for you.